All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Love is War Season 3, Episode 10. In the last episode, uh, basically mostly just about the culture festival starting, um, some funny moments here and there. There was an extra bit at the start, which I believe is a manga chapter that was missed, but they kind of added it to um, this previous episode for, I don't know, storyboard storyboarding reasons, or maybe it works better at that place in the anime. In regards to Shiragane's reason for becoming class president, or no, uh, student council president, um, and how he was before when he kind of had no really no motiva motivation for doing what he wanted to do with this school. Um, his motivation being Kaguya, which is really sweet. Yeah, it's going pretty good so far, and I'm excited to see what comes of this episode. So, as always, guys, I like the video if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. Oh, someone mentioned in the comments actually in the last episode that the uh, the horror bit at the end was um, was like a reference to is it Blair Witch or something? I di I didn't get that. Damn, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> Bro, she's spooking the fuck out of these guys. <laughs> yeah, hold my hand. Yeah, just because you're scared, of course. Why is that necessary? Oh God. Less than 50% progress. <laughs> so maybe it was Ishigami's idea to kind of add the 3D sound experience. As if uh, Ishigami just stared at Ino's goddamn ear and just like, Oh, I know what we should do. Oh my god, because she loves her goddamn ASMR as if. Yeah, all you need is freaking headphones, though. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, hypersensitive ears. That is kind of creepy, but wouldn't, like, that just make you want to throw the headphones off? Bro, this girl is sadistic. They actually put the match that close to the ear? God damn, this girl is t sadistic as hell. Don't tell me you actually just chewed on her ear. This is too much, man. Jesus. Thanks for a hearty meal. <laughs> oh, these. This is. She's part of the tabletop games club with uh, Chica. This is some. This is some BDSM shit right here. <laughs> Oh, it's weird how it changes in my headset as well. Oh, wow. So you gotta do it all again and not scream? Oh, they're gonna be, like, stuck in a locker together, aren't they? What did he just do? Like, wouldn't smack himself in the knee? What the hell? They're gonna sleep for, like, a day after that. Oh, God, what are they doing in the locker? What did you think was going to happen? Yeah, you could have just not put the headphones on. Ah, oh, men and women's one. No. Oh, you got fucking cooked, man. Oh, it's Lil Chica. Wait, she's the middle school student council president, did that just say? Uh, yeah. I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, for real. That man is trouble. Oh yeah, why didn't I recognize the girl that was with Kay was Chica's little sister? You need to- Girl, you need to get over yourself. He is a lost cause. He tries hard. That's what you want in someone, is to actually be really motivated to do things, even if they're trash at it. You don't get it. But also, like... Maybe he's not horrible. Like, when you put it into perspective like this, who cares that he can't do those things? Suffer like you did. <laughs> oh, he's here? Lol. That's right. <laughs> oh my god. She's gonna show how horrendous he is at it. I mean, I'm trash at juggling, so how bad could he be? How the... Hawk, did you do that, Shiragane? Oh, he can do it! 
When did he learn how to juggle? Is this something he already knew? That is impressive. And you turn into a dead help backer. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, and he's just incredibly skilled at all these random things. I love when Chica's stressed out. It makes me laugh. You're just making your little sister fall for him more. A man came in for a break, and now he's got to back get back to work. Oh. <laughs> you better back the fuck away, bitch. <laughs> he had another Fujiwara that Kagi was going to have problems with. Painted bloodline. <laughs> Not really, Kaguya. <laughs> yeah, she's got bigger boobs than you. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I mean, this dude's like, what, going off to college soon? Shouldn't be dating a middle schooler anyway. Aren't these just all the reasons that you like him, Kaguya? Ooh. Yeah, I think that's something Kaguya likes, too. <laughs> Oh, Kaguya. Yeah. They're bonding over the dude <laughs> that they both like. Yeah, it's fine. You can enjoy yourself over this. But you've wrote curse on the ground, lol. The sense into gore averted, wow. Guys, it's going to be the freaking last episode before she actually gives him this thing. Ishigami's plan is not working out. Oh yes, she's invited you to things. Let's go. What are they making? Like, is it stalls? What is this? The second son of a toy company owner. Give it to her. Give it to her all smooth. Good job, Ishigami. Is that really the face she just pulled? Has Ishigami thought about this? Oh, Ishigami, you're accidentally brilliant. Did he say that? My guy, let's go. Oh, she actually like him? Let's fucking go. But? Oh, okay. I thought she was like, but I've got a boyfriend. Bro, let's go Ishigami. Ishigami, a confess plan. Oh, possibly. That's <laughs> like a mother and father. <laughs> Bro, Ishigami is making moves that you have made in three freaking seasons. A mode much like mourning. Tried to read the room. Could you imagine if she actually cared? Chica is such a bad friend. <laughs> Tends to lack common sense. Uh, you could join him on that ladder, Chica. His bangs are annoying. We've seen Ishigami with his hair up before, haven't we? He actually suited it, uh, from what I can remember. It's basically just his confidence in himself, I think. Yeah, exactly. Somewhat verbally abusive. <laughs> Industrial waste level. Oof. Yeah. I mean, she she seemed pretty into him from what just happened. But maybe he caught her off guard, I don't know. Damn, this pressure on Ishigami now, Jesus. Everybody's just got missions and Chica's just eating cotton candy. <laughs> The final day of the Hoshin Culture Festival. Okay. Has vanished from the school? What? Oh, shit. What's happened here? All right, so that was Love is War Season 3, Episode 10. That was a very freaking good episode. Like, uh, I think the main thing I can take away from that is the Ishigami accidental confession. Or maybe it wasn't accidental, but he was very forward about it, and everybody kind of got the idea of what he was doing. He didn't get what he was doing, but it worked for him. Um, the kind of reaction from... What's that goddamn name? 
God damn it. Why have I forgotten? Reaction from Pinkhead Gal um, was looks successful. So hopefully everything goes okay there. She's obviously thinking about it right now. Um, I don't know if I don't know if she'll say yes. I feel it's too early in the story for that to happen. I feel like it'll be a rejection in some really sad way, but I don't know. We will see. Ishigami play, played it really well there. Um, Haunted, ha Haunted House bit was really funny. He didn't get his chance there because of freaking the love couple that are so annoying. Um, but yeah, overall a very good episode and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.